Welcome everyone to the Everything Show. I am your host, Matrix Lord Two One Two, and I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Hello, all. What's up, Chris? What's up, guys? All right. So, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, stands at three hundred and sixty-six million. Okay. Uh, and I guess it finally crossed over the hundred million dollar domestic. You know which is good news, uh, longer than expected, but still did it. Um, what do you feel about this movie, Chris? Do you think with the foreign numbers and everything that, you know, it's going to go 400 or above or what? I, I'm i standing by what I said previously. I, I still think it's going to have a difficult time reaching 400. Um, really, I mean, at this point, it's it's – it's not going to end well financially. Um, it might break even, which is not great. Um, but again, if, if, the, if the report that they, that they, the executives at Legendary are not panicking over this, I mean, I think, I think they're going to look at this as a quote unquote stepping stone and, and learning more for Godzilla versus Kong and potentially things after that. Um, I can say on that note that I have heard it from a, from somebody else. I'm not going to say a reliable source. I have heard it from another source that there is a mindset that this is probably going to continue after Godzilla vs. Kong, albeit Godzilla vs. Kong has to do well. So really, it's nothing new. That's not news. That's not a scoop or anything like that. Right. Um, I mean, we figured that if, if something did happen where this one didn't do well, as long as Kong mm -hmm. did excellent, we would get the MonsterVerse to continue. Right? I mean, right. that's what we uh, said before, so. Yeah. And, and another, and I said this already too, and this is a good thing, is that in those markets that Toho is looking for, the movie has done well enough to make them probably say for their world of Godzilla, or whatever they're doing after the MonsterVerse or when the MonsterVerse takes a break or whatever you want to say. Right. Um, they seem to be encouraged, I would assume, by what, what it's done so, and what the MonsterVerse has done. So when Toho eventually starts making movies again, they're probably going to get wider releases than what we're normally used to. I think the days of a Godzilla film coming out in Japan and then you don't see it until four years later are gone. Right. And obviously we had that with Shin Gojira where the movie came out over there and then they were like, yes, we're going to release it over here for a limited run. Oh. I, think what we, I think what we could see for their world of Godzilla potentially or whatever they're going to do is Eat that from a, no, no. It, <laughs> it gets released in Japan first, obviously. And then shortly thereafter, they release it over here. Okay. They could go. They could go the extra mile, and th I would love this. Do a simultaneous release. Mm. If they did that, I would be outside the door a week beforehand. Oh yeah. Do you As think? Do you think that they will start? Toho will start filming next year. To release a movie the following year? Yes. And if they do do this, are they going to do a whole origin thing? Or are they gonna, not going to be boggled with time with that? Are they going to... Is Godzilla going to fight like a new monster? Or is he going to fight like... Are they going to pick from his rogues gallery and just... So this is, this is my... This is my speculation. And I want to—I want to say I want to make that clear that this is just my speculation. I don't have any evidence to support this. I'm only using what Dave said as my backup for what I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. They said that they're going to do something called the World of Godzilla, where they they specifically cited the Marvel Cinematic Universe, where they said that we want to do something similar to that, a single continuity where these monsters get their own movies 
but they could also cross over at any point in time. We could throw out a movie that's two monsters, three monsters, four monsters, one monster. So with that in mind, I think what the first one is going to be is going to be a Godzilla film, obviously. It's not going to be like Mothra or Rodan or something. Yeah. It's going to be Godzilla. I don't, it just makes sense to start off the world of Godzilla with a Godzilla with a, film. With a Godzilla movie, yeah. Right. So if I was the director, if I was doing this movie, if Toho came to me and said, we want you to do a Godzilla film, it has to just follow certain rules, but you have creative freedom to do whatever you want within reason. I would do a story that Godzilla has already been around in this universe. They've dealt with him either just in the 54 event or once or twice throughout history. Maybe it's something completely new that they just allude to because then the reason I would do that is these stories normally are better when the story has already begun. And they've already done an origin story with Godzilla 2014, sort of, and more so Shin Gojira. So I wouldn't want to be treading on that again. So I would say that either the 54 event happened or there have been events in the past that we don't directly see. It's just alluded to. So he just been what I would do is... Like he's just been He's been around. Yes. Like like they did in the original movie and this movie. So don't get bogged with them out and explain him. He's exactly. Here, he's okay. Is he a villain or is he a hero? So, well, well I'll, I'll get to that. So, we 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 start off. Think of the first Star Wars. How you were kind of just thrown into that. Right. Similar idea here, right? But what I would do is I would clearly say that it was only Godzilla that they've ever dealt with. He's the only kaiju that they've ever dealt with. The idea okay. of other kaiju has not been a thing. It, it, it was, it's Godzilla. He, this is our thing. This is your speculation. This is what I would do. Okay. In the movie, a new monster would show up. Now, however that origin would be, whether it's something natural, something man-made, whatever, something like that shows up and we see the government going, how do we deal with this? Because all of our contingencies have been to deal with Godzilla. Right. This is not Godzilla. This is something else. Because this monster shows up, Godzilla shows up. Okay. And they go, well, how do we handle this? Now we've got two monsters. We don't know what the hell they're going to do. That's where you get your monster fights. Hevel, what I would heavily show is that Godzilla is not, a, is not just a walking thing. He's a character. You can see the emotions in his face, mainly in his eyes. Right. It's this other monster who's also a character. And it has to be a new monster. I'm not taking any gear. It's something new. I want to see a new Ho-Ho design kaiju. Okay. Get that in there. They fight and they, you know, they're like, well, what really I want to show with the human drama, like, how do we handle this? Because we've ne- they've never thought of, we got two monsters now. You right. know, but they never even thought that During whichever one thing. wins, they lose one of those things. Right. So they're like, do we help one of them win? Do we stay away? What do we do? So the two monsters fight. Obviously, Godzilla wins. But what I would show, the main point of all this would be there are other monsters out there that we have to be ready for because it might not just be Godzilla anymore. And Godzilla is not on the human side. Oh, he's not helping them. him fighting this other monster. Basically, what I would go is I'd go the Man of Steel route. Superman and Zod fighting in the city. Mm-hmm. Massive destruction and chaos and casualties. It works here because this is a giant monster movie. Right. It's not Superman. So these monsters fighting levels of friggin' city. Okay. And the idea would be how do we handle this? What is Godzilla's role in our environment? And what is what do we do in the future? Because now we know it's possible that there are other monsters. Uh-huh. And you go from there. Okay. Um, you want to hear my speculation? Sure. Okay. 
What I would do is I would also have the fact that Godzilla has been established in this universe. Uh, but I would have it that all the monsters have been established in this universe and leave it up to the imagination of, from our perspective of what's canon and what's not that they consider canon from, you know, is this connected to, you know, Destroyer and all those movies like Space Godzilla, you know what I'm saying? Like that period, or is it connected to the 70s when he fought Mecha Godzilla and all that stuff? And I would have it that... Well, you, you, know, you, would, have to, you would have to establish that. You would have to establish that it's connected to one of those because those yeah. aren't right. So you can't you can't connect it to both. You would have right. To I know, I know. And I would have it where you know, of course, like when I was a kid, I loved it that Godzilla was the good guy, and there was a whole bunch of monsters that were good, like Mothra and Anguirus and different things. And it's been quiet for a long time. Like something occurs, you haven't seen them for years. Whatever. Don't establish how long. But I, I, when I was a kid, I was fascinated with, I know we had our monsters on Monster Island, right? But one of my favorite monsters was Gigan, okay? The fact that he was like a bounty hunter or an alien monster from another planet or something, right? I always felt that that was like missed opportunities that why wouldn't we have more monsters coming like why wouldn't Gigan bring other monsters maybe on his world there's just monsters and there's not you know humans or aliens or whatever and like Gigan coming here was a purpose for like sport or whatever and he brings attention to another planet to bring more monsters not not talking about like Monster Zero meaning like King Ghidorah and all that stuff but this would have an opportunity for us to have a brand new monster that's like an alien, you know, sort of like, I mean, we're pretty established that, you know, Monster Zero is an alien, right? Like King Ghidorah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, and Gigan. So there's only two that we know of with the exception of the new monster that we had in fi Final Wars, right? It was a Monster X, right? Uh, and then there, it was... There, there, are, there, are, are, there are multiple aliens the smog monster is an alien yeah oh, the smog one, monster is an alien and and, and, and cosmic yeah. godzilla right i mean space godzilla well, well space Godzilla. the the, right. the only the only reason that they never kind of did that thing with gigan is because gigan is not of his own free will he's actually uh, he's actually a puppet for but they don't have to do that in this movie though not in this one no but remember how he teamed up with megalon Yes. Yeah, I love that one. But, like, Megalon is an alien, too, or no? Okay, so the interesting thing about that was Megalon was supposed to be an alien with Gigan. Okay. But they, they moved away from it in, in replacement. They put King Ghidorah, or Ghidra at the time, in Godzilla versus Gigan. Right. Um, and then they, they Megalon was going to be in that movie, if I remember correctly. And it was going to be like something like Attack of the Space Monsters or Invasion of the Space Monsters or something okay. like that. Um, and if I remember correctly, Godzilla vs. Megalon was not supposed to be a Godzilla film. They had the Megalon suit and then they had Jet Jaguar. And Jet Jaguar was supposed to be the main character of that film. Okay. He was supposed to come Love be that. Like Ultraman kind of. Yeah, like right. That kind of idea. Not Ultraman itself, but like the same idea. Yeah, I know. But. If I remember correctly, the executives at Toho were like, this is not going to sell. And they were like, well, what do we do? And like, well, isn't it obvious? And they're like, P -p -p put Godzilla in the movie. Like, <laughs> and they were like, and not only just put Godzilla in the movie, let's make this a Godzilla movie. <laughs> like, I mean, I love why, it, that one, too. That's why he does, if, you know, if you watch it again, he doesn't show up until like the last few minutes of the movie. Mm-hmm. Because it was originally supposed to be a Jet Jaguar movie. It's supposed to be Jet Jaguar, yeah. Right. But I do love that movie, though. I don't know about you. Do you like that movie? Not one of my favorites, no, but... <laughs> I think my... I do like Megalon, though. I think Megalon deserves an updated design. I really do. Yeah, I agree. I, I, my favorite movie... I believe it's my favorite movie was when 
we had Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla the first time ever. And it was like two Godzillas. And he was like, wait a minute. And then, you know, it revealed that was like my favorite fight. Like when he fought that, like, Me you know, Mecha Godzilla. And I remember like a kid seeing that, you know, in the theaters and different things. And it was like, well, did I see him in the theaters? I'm trying to remember. Probably not. Probably not in the theaters. I probably saw it on TV. But I did see, okay, the Godzilla I saw in the theater was the one where they built the stupid Godzilla tower. Remember that one? That sounds like Godzilla versus Gigan. Yeah. That, that's the one I saw in the theater. There was only one Godzilla movie I saw in the theater. Huh? Was it with the cockroach people? Yes. That was Godzilla versus Gigan. Yep. That's the one movie that was in the theater. And as I was talking about today earlier, one of my first, my first five of the same movies ever. Like that was like right there. Like the moment I saw that movie of Godzilla, I had to see every Godzilla. You know. Mm -hmm. Um, just like when I saw Period Pyramids of Mars, Doctor Who, I had to, you know, hooked. Oh. Yep. Um and I was talking about that today. I was talking about my childhood. Um, but that was it. And, and all the time on TV, I was always looking for Godzilla movies. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I would okay. have, it, my speculation, whatever, I would have that we, some type of alien event that would cause the monsters to come out of hiding or wherever they were, Godzilla, whatever, or something that the aliens, like they've had it before where the aliens messing with the human race or something. And, and whatever, I know sure. they did, like where they were tricking them in the old canon or whatever, but something where the monster, Godzilla has to come and face their champion, their monster. Um, but I would have it more intricate, I think. I think I would have it where they would be interconnected one after the after other after other, like a, like a plot, you know, and a continuing thing. Like... Um, like that series that we write was like with uh, with um, you know Destroyer, but before that was Space Godzilla, right? It was like that. I like that series. Was it the High the High Seas series? The high yeah, I like that series. Um, yeah. The High Seas. The High Seas series, yes. Um, I, 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 mean, I was worried about not technically the show a series did the same thing. They just didn't really. Yeah, I was just worried about not pronouncing. They it right, just didn't so. really say it. But I would I would do that because again, to throw in Mothra, King Ghidorah, and Rodan when we just saw her in Legendary, I think they need to establish themselves again, right, in their own movies. But I I need Godzilla to fight. I'd be happy with him fighting Guy again, again, or I'd be happy with him, you know, fighting. I'm trying to think. I mean, I don't know if they. I mean, you could do a Mecha Godzilla. Like the aliens created, I like Mecha Godzilla, so I, I I'm biased. no, I'm not doing that. But I think they, if they did that, people would be I'm biased. Too much, too much uh, coincidence at, towards how oh, this is a Pacific Rim part three or two. No, I don't. No, first of all, first of all, Mecha Godzilla. You know how many times they had a Mecha Godzilla movie with Godzilla? Like, I love Mecha Godzilla. That was like always my favorite. Yeah. yeah. Um. I, I understand that, you know, to figure it out how it would happen. But when they're making these movies, are they thinking that they're going to reintroduce all the monsters for a new generation? Or are they thinking that we have an established fan base and they'll just know I, what's going on? I think it's I think it's gonna be a little bit of both because they Shin Gojira was their attempt to reintroduce the character to a new audience yeah, and amazing. it, it worked. It, it worked really well. Right. Um, well, me, yeah, but yeah. before that, the legendary Godzilla was like a nod to the old fan while also introducing it to the new fans. I mean, um, I like 2014. I, I, I like I'm it. really, I'm really, I'm really interested to see what they, what they do in the world of Godzilla because well I'm interested but I'm also afraid because of what Toho has done with the character as of late um but you know I, I don't know I, I 
when I hear the world of Godzilla, it, it makes me really feel like he's going to be the, like the, the cause for everything that happens in that series. Like him being there just causes a whole bunch of shit to go down. And right. I mean, who knows? How many movies are they doing? They haven't said specifically. They, they, they said they'd like to do one every two years for the foreseeable future. But if they do one every two years, does that count as a Godzilla movie? With alternating years being like uh, like a I Gamera? Think, I think not Gamera. Like uh, Mothra anyway, even though Godzilla came out the previous year? I, th- I think anything that comes out is going to be under that label of the world of Godzilla. So it would count every two years. It might I not just, necessarily be Godzilla. In- yeah. The w- I feel, here's the thing. I am all Godzilla 100 million percent, right? To me, I want a Godzilla movie as much as possible, right? Now, if you're saying it's every two years, that's fine with me, right? But I feel that Mothra and King Ghidorah and Rodan should be counted as something else. So in other words... If Toho Godzilla is coming out in 2021, right? I don't want to wait two years and then get a Mothra movie and no Godzilla movie. And I don't want to have it where it's going to be four years before I see a Godzilla movie. So I don't want my Godzilla intake being disrupted. So I would want to have Godzilla 2021, Mothra or whatever, 2022, and then Godzilla again, 2023. I want like a two-year gap, like, you know, for Godzilla or a year gap, whatever. I know it can't be a year gap, but like, I don't want to have to wait years, you know? And I just feel that those movies, you should have the Godzilla universe as like Godzilla is the main thing and there are secondary aspects of it, you know? Like you'll have Avengers, but then you'll make Eternals. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you have like Avengers is the main thing, and everything else is like little things, but it's big things too because the Mothra is a big thing and King right. But I don't want Godzilla disrupted because again we've had so many missed opportunities. We have so many time periods where Godzilla wasn't on the air, like in movies or whatever. And I just don't want. I I I, I feel like as a fan, I I want more Godzilla than usual because we've been denied so long. Well, well, th- th- this is the thing, and un- unfortunately, you're, you're going to have to get out of that mindset because they're not going to do it like that. I know. I know. They are going to do Godzilla and Mothra. However, in those years where they're filming these and they're and doing that, should the MonsterVerse continue, that's where you get your Godzilla movie. Well, that's what I'm okay with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, in other words, if, if Mothra comes out next year, Legendary's movie come out. I'm happy okay. with that. Yeah. So if that's the way I get it, that's great. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. wrong. But we don't know. You know, we, the, the, the world of Godzilla, we only know for sure what they've said so far, which is right. very little. And I think they're going to say more after Godzilla versus Kong, as long as it does really well, um, mm-hmm. it, even if it doesn't. But here, here's, here's my thing, though. And I know that they've said that they're not doing this, but just always keep this in the back of your mind. Okay. The world of Godzilla could easily be the Shin Gojira universe. Oh, God. Come on, Chris. I'm telling you. I thought we're done with that. They said that, but what they say and what they do are two different things. They said that because that's what people wanted to hear or no? No, no, no. Are you kidding me? If they would have came out and said that this is the Shin Gojira universe, the friggin' Toho fan base would have been like, yes, sign me up. So they're doing their own thing. As far as we know right now, Shin Gojira 2 is not happening. And the world of Godzilla is not that. But what I'm saying is that it, it could easily, they could turn around and be like, no, it is. You know? Yeah, I know. Who knows? Do I think that's what they're going to do? No. I, I highly doubt that. But Where is the Gamera status? What, 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 are they making a Gamera movie? So I'm, the right? I'm, glad, I'm glad you brought that up because you reminded me. I saw something on Instagram. Okay. Someone had apparently I, – I can't remember if it was Daie or Kawadaka. I think it was Daie. Okay. Somebody asked the people at Daie 
like one of the higher ups, it might've been the CEO. They were like, what is happening with Gamera? Because there's all these monster movies coming out. Gamera is like the second biggest one and he's absent, right. like noticeably absent. And if I remember correctly, I'm going to paraphrase here. The, the person who gave the answer said, we know that Gamera is an important IP. I can't say anything right now, but I'm very excited. Okay, then something's coming oh, out. Oh, so, so in four, four years, we'll see you. I think to parallel either Godzilla versus Kong, yep. or the eventual announcement of what the world of Godzilla is, they are going to announce another Gamera film. Thank God. And I have a strong feeling that that's going to be the case. It won't be the one immediately after this uh, is Kong, but it will be like the second or third movie. They're going to announce it. Okay. Me, I would love it to be Gamma 4, <laughs> but I'm not going to get that. And I know that. That sucks. So what, they just can't do it or they just won't do it? It's it's kind of too late at this point. <laughs> um, yeah, I I, I got to tell you, both of you guys, if you have not watched the Gamera Heisei series, you need to watch it. I'm t- okay. listen. You know, I'm a Godzilla fan. You know yes. that I live and die Godzilla, right? Right. The Gamera Heisei series is better than the Showa Heisei and Millennium series for Godzilla. Damn. I, I have no qualm saying that. It is, to me, other than the MonsterVerse, it is the pinnacle of, the, of this genre. Are these movies, how many movies are there for that? Four or three? Three. That's a three, and then you want this, that's what you want the four form from? Yes. It's, it's Gamera Guardian of the Universe, Gamera Advent of Legion, and Gamera Revenge of Iris. Okay. And this is on DVD? Yes. Okay. I'm, t- I'm telling you, man, the, the human characters are great. The pseudimation is fantastic. And the story, when you really get into, when you get to Gamera 3 and they kind of reveal, because Gamera 3 does a beautiful job yeah. of wrapping everything up from the past two movies. Right. When you finally start to fi- find out or figure out what is actually going on, right? it's like, oh my gosh, that is brilliant. And then... Okay go back and watch the other two and it's like holy shit like <laughs> it was there the whole time like wow i'm gonna go and get these problems definitely okay. what else was the, it? oh uh, what about that movie is that movie ever coming out the um did you hear anything about that the godzilla versus what are they were calling it with that that thing was supposed to be like a, yeah. Uh, no, I know. I don't think they're putting. Were well, they really going to call it that, or were they going to call it something else? No, no. It was going to be Godzilla versus the Wolfman. But it's not. It, it's the guy that turns into a wolf, but it's a beast, right? Like a monster, right? So he, if I remember correctly, like it's an actual guy that can become a werewolf, but then something happens to him, and that's what allows him to become like the werewolf. Kind yeah, of I saw a clip. Oh God! Right. But, but it, who is holding it back from being released? Is it Toho or is it? You know, I don't, I don't know the whole story. I, I know that they said that they have a huge amount of film that they shot for it. And but is it a good movie or is it a crap movie? I would imagine it's probably pretty bad. But Oh, wow. Well. I mean. But a if they release that turns into a kaiju. But it, let me ask you a question now. Let's just say this movie comes out, right? Mm-hmm. Is it considered like you have to renumber all the movies now, like, or is like how? how what so, pla- what replacement would this be in then? Right. So, so going by the suit, the Godzilla suit, this that's is the Kong? King Goji suit that they used in King Kong versus. So this is after Kong. Yes. So I would say that it would probably take place after King Kong. 
I would say yeah. it probably takes place King after King Kong versus Godzilla and before Mothra versus Godzilla. Okay. And you, as a fan like me, your opinion of this is you wouldn't want it to be released, or you want it to be released? I would. I would want to see it. Okay. So you would be all for them releasing just this because. And... Oh yeah, just just for the novelty of a that Wolfman kaiju, right? And B, because I love the King Goji suit, I wish that would have been the suit that they used throughout the whole Showa series or right. most of it. Anyway. Okay. But yeah, I mean, I would be all for that. Now, is there any other Godzilla films like that one that they finished? Yeah, what a. That's a face a mother could love. I know. Is there any other yep. Godzilla films that they finished like that? That we know of? As far as I know, no. But there are, there are plenty of planned Godzilla movies that if you go and look them up, they had some weird ideas. But some of them just sounded so cool. Like... There was, um, I kid you not, this, this wasn't one of the cool ones, but this one I just kind of wanted to see just because it would have been so, so crazy that I think it would have just been hilarious, like hilariosity on a level that we've never seen before. Um, they had serious plans to do Batman versus Godzilla. Oh God, no. Seriously. <sighs> like for real. And the, and the point of the movie was, Godzilla's attacking Japan, and Japan's like, we need somebody to stop him. We can't do it. Call Batman. But he's... But, but DC wouldn't go for that. Well, of course not, because Batman couldn't get near Godzilla without suffering radiation poisoning. <laughs> so it's like, you know... Um, all right, so let me ask you a question. You know how video games, they do the retro or remaster or the... You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What? How would you feel if they got a hold of those old suits and they started doing a Godzilla movie using the old suits, like just making it like a new movie, but like the old ways? The, the suits are gone. They're gone. They're gone. They eroded like crazy. Yeah. They only have a couple of the old suits left. They're I wrecked. Know. I think that they yeah, have I mean, those things were not made to last. Yeah, I think they, that they have. I think that they have one of the Heisei suits left. They have the Godzilla 2000 Millennium suit, and I think the Final Wars and one of the one of the other Millennium series. But they don't have a mold that they can't replicate it. They, I don't think they've ever bothered to remake it because why yeah. would they? They've moved away from doing that now. Now with Shin Gojira being so successful, they're going to do performance capture, as far as I know. Mm. which is great because even though I hate Shin Gojira I cannot take away the fact that that was probably the best rendered Godzilla um, effect that I've ever seen mm. they yeah. convinced me that that was a suit right damn go go look I mean at, at any point in that movie I have whenever Godzilla is on screen he, he, it looks like he's really there it looks like it's real it's, it's ridiculous they did such a great job. I don't know what the hell they did. Mm. Now the movie's terrible. But, but what about the what about the this, there was that that series thing where they had Godzilla and was it Zen the Fighters or some or whatever the hell that was? What was that called? It was on huh? was fighting monsters on TV or something. It was like a TV series. Where they oh, had, no, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking something else. No, where they had Godzilla, the same Godzilla suit from the movies, and he fought all the monsters. What was that? That's not considered. Well, I know what you're talking about that. Actually, was, that wasn't that wasn't a television series. That was actually an arcade game. No, 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 no. There was a there was a series. I think I showed it to you what a year ago. I'm trying to think of what it was. It was like something to do with. Godzilla appeared in somebody else's thing, and he fought like a monster with this this, this show. That oh, this... I, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about talking about Zone Fighter. Yes. Yeah, though that wasn't a Godzilla series. He just showed up there once or twice. Fought a monster or something. So that's not canon, or is canon? Or is this... 
Not canon. I mean, you can technically consider it canon to the show. You can con you can consider it canon to the show a series, but it's not really canon overall. Okay. So, you, would you say now it takes longer to make a Godzilla movie than the past? No. It takes no. I, 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 the only reason that it took so long, the only reason that it took so long between Godzilla 2014 and Godzilla King of the Monsters was because Gareth Edwards left and they had to do, you know, Kong and Shin Gojira. Uh, now, I mean, I, I, we, when you really look at it, when you really look at it, we've gotten a Godzilla movie in 2014, 2016, 2017, 2018, and then technically, well, well two in 2018, technically, and then 2019. We're getting one in 2020, and then potentially one in 2022. What, wait, what do you mean two in 2018? We got the two animated movies. What was it three, though? They, oh, that one oh, came they, out. Oh, we counted those, yeah. Yes. Are, they on, are they on Blu-ray and DVD? Uh, they're still on Netflix. Okay. Yeah, but they, they stink, though. Yeah, but they're still Godzilla films. They're still, they're still considered, I guess. Yeah. Are they going to do any more of those or no? I hope not. Could they just do a, a um, an animated one, but not like ridiculously storyline like that, and just? I would be okay with that, absolutely. Monsters <laughs> fighting, and not like I'm from a zillion years in the future, and I left Earth, but I came back, and Godzilla's a plant. Maybe yeah. The planet. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. You want to know what's sick? And I've said this before. If you read the stories from the prequel novels for those movies. It's some of the best Godzilla stories you will ever read. Wow. But they somehow talk, translation to the small screen just did not work. No, 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 no. Because it's not from the book to the movie. It's before the movie. Oh, like, okay. I'll give you an example. There is a part in the first book that talks about a monster called Dagara, who is in the rebirth of Mothra 2. He attacks Australia. And his thing is that he releases these things called barum, which are these like starfish things that are toxic and they, right. they have like a bacteria in them. Yeah. He attacks Australia on Christmas Day, right? He puts so much barum in the ocean around Australia that no other nation can help them because Damn. they'll get infected and their ships can't get through them. So Australia gets no foreign aid, right? The whole country collapses. Wow. It's it's like holy shit. They called it the in the book they called it the Red Christmas Scourge. Jesus. And I'll give you another one. In the second one, there's this giant, like moon sized asteroid that's heading towards the Earth, right? And yeah. it's dodging all of the counter that they're that they're sending up to try and stop it or just tanking them and they're like oh shit it's going to destroy the earth right mm. godzilla wakes up in the arctic fires his atomic breath and obliterates it before it gets to the earth oh wow damn and he goes yeah because of that yeah. yeah but because of that event they, 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 they label Godzilla the greatest threat to humanity that's ever been in wow. <laughs> Yeah, we got about a minute left. Um, all right. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. Take care. Bye for now.